Hey, what's up? I'm just going to do a short video today on adding an on click listener to a list view. I'm just going to be carrying on from my list view tutorial. Um, the only thing you really need to know that is that in, in this video already, I have a list view made and I have some names added to a list view. There's two layout files here. One of them is a custom layout for the list view. I've gone over that in previous beginner tutorials and the other layout just has a list view in it. So we can close these layout files. We don't really need to look at anything in there. So all we have is in main activity is an array adapter, an array list of names where I've added some names here. Of course, our list view, and then we set the adapter to the list view. So if we wanted to add an on-click listener to the list view, we use what's called an on-item click listener. So we do list, which is our, the name of our list view, set on item click listener, new on item click listener, and that's it. Now I'm just going to print out a toast message and print out the name of the person that we clicked on in the list view. First we'll log the click and I'm, and I'm going to put the name of the person in the log. So I'll do names.getI. I is going to refer to the position in the list view of the person that you click on. So if one thing that you do want to notice up here is that I declared this array list as final so that I can reference it in the list view. If I remove this final, we get a red error here saying it either needs to be final or it needs to be global. I could take it and I could make the, make it global like the adapter up here, but I'm just going to make it final instead. And we can see that our error goes away. Now I'm just going to print out a toast message and let the user know which person they clicked on. Okay, so we have our toast. Make sure to mention the context with main activity dot this. If we just use, we can't use just this because we're inside of an on click listener. We have to do main activity dot this. And then here's our message that we're going to print out. We just say you clicked on this name and then this is the length of time that you're going to print out the message for. And then you have to call dot show to actually show the message. So let's run it and see if we get any errors. Okay, here's our list view of names. So I click on Shelly, it tells me that I clicked on Shelly and we can see down in the log that it prints an on item click and says the name also. And it changes every time we click on a different name. That's it for this video. Just a simple on item click listener for a list view, nothing special here. Just wanted to make sure I added it to the beginner tutorial list because it's a little different than a regular on click listener. If this video was helpful, leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching.